Hey guys, it's May May. And listen, you're just gonna see the real life. You're gonna see our trash bag right there. <laughs> you're gonna see this random banana <laughs> that Shannon's got. You're gonna see all kinds of stuff. So for those of you who do not know, we're in the process of reopening the retail store. We are playing and I believe it can happen, is to open on May 3rd, which is the first Monday in May, which just happens to be my birthday. We didn't plan that, but it is kind of cool. So if you have not seen, let me tell you what this room is, okay? This room was our warehouse. So it looked very different and we have done a lot <laughs> to it. So I'll give you some things that we've done so you'll know. So the red wall was already here. We had them paint that when we first moved in because um, that wall was actually, do you remember what it color it was? Was it black? I think it was black because this was the youth room from the church, remember? So I think that wall was black, but we had them do red when we first moved in. So we already had the red wall. Then the side walls were kind of this really, um, they were that cardboard color, weren't they? <laughs> they were the color of cardboard. And they just didn't look real great. And our lighting was real bad. Our landlord sent in his workers yesterday and fixed our lighting. We're just so happy. Things are just really getting good. So starting in the back, okay, this wall here with the buffalo check, that is actually buffalo check wallpaper, which we can show y'all. It's really cool. Um, and Shannon did that wall for us. That was one of the first things we did. And we just love how good that looks. So then it started going, by the way, that's Taylor. That's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> And she's also, she's working the store. So then we went from there and then we came down here and put it on our front desk, which we love, right? And then we put it everywhere. We redid this three-tiered shelf. We did buffalo check there. And then we did, I'm gonna, I have to move real slow or I lose signal. We put wood on top. Now listen, this is literal wallpaper. Like it's sticky back wallpaper from Amazon and it is amazing. It does incredible work. So that's that. That's the buffalo check. This panel in the back, this is a wood panel that um, our carpenter made. His name is Ralph. He's incredible. Ralph made that for us and hung it. And we are having an acrylic panel made to go on top of it that has my logo on it. And it'll be lifted off so it'll have a little gap between the two. And then you want to show them the lights that are going above it. So then when we get it done, y'all can see how it's working. So Shannon's going to show you these are the lights that are going to go above our logo wall. We have three of them that'll be shining down on the logo. And that's, they're so pretty. So those are going to show back there. The lights will be here, here, and here. So that's coming. Um, the guy who does our acrylic, by the way, we're, we are working very hard to use to only shop small and shop local. So Ralph is a local carpenter. He's a painter carpenter because he did my painting too. Our acrylic sign is it's coming from CNC Trophy because we love them. They do all of our printing and things. So they're doing, they're working on that. Um, and if I have another local anything, I'll tell y'all so you'll know. Okay, so wallpaper. Where else did we put it? I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. Do you remember the yellow table? You know our antique table that had the yellow top? Well, it now has buffalo check. Don't worry, it peels off. <laughs> and so that yellow laminate underneath is perfectly fine, but we love the buffalo check table. It just needed it. Then I don't know if you can see it, but this piece back here, we never loved this piece. It was always, it, it was just ugly. It just was ugly. So Shannon went to town and she buffalo checked the bottom. You can see the bottom down there is done. And then I wood paneled the center. I'm scared. I'm going to try to get close, but I have to go slow so we don't lose signal because I want y'all to see it. I think it's so cool. So we would paint on that. So it'll be holding product. And then behind here is probably our favorite thing. <laughs> if you come to the store, please do not kick these pieces. <laughs> um, one of these didn't have a front panel. Do you remember? Which one was it? Do you remember? Nope, not that one. That one. This one had its front panel missing, and Shannon took cardboard and tape and wallpaper and made that look incredible. It looks incredible. So this, we, bu we buffalo checked that, and we buffalo checked this. Uh, like we have gone crazy with the buffalo check, and we're probably not done because we love it. We put a little bit on this table over here, which might trigger some folks because we put it on the wood, but literally, guys, it just peels off. It's just, it's almost like a paper sticker, and it just peels off. So we put a little bit on that wood table, these pieces, I can't show you all these pieces yet, but like this blue piece, by the way, th we think this is going to be another color we add to our decor is this kind of, what would you call that? 
I call it retro blue, like 50s blue. It is kind of Christmassy blue, but it's that we're going to be adding that. But I found this at Rustic. Um, we have a lot of stuff from Rustic. <laughs> You'll probably see all of that as we get going. All right. So that's that. Okay, the next thing we did were the walls. Tiffany blue. It is very Tiffany blue, isn't it? So these, huh? Very mente, very mente. So this wall here was already installed. Um, Jeremy, do you guys remember Honey Bunny? Hashtag Honey Bunny. Jeremy and Thomas installed that wall. The end panel was not white. It was a tan color, and our painter, um, he painted that. So we have our stamp wall now, and look how they're laid out. So we have our, our original, like this is where it all started. The original is right here. The four by six regular stamps are first. Then we did the big ones in the middle. Then we have four by fours, monograms, and scripture. Scripture is a lot smaller because it came, y'all don't even know. I want to say we started doing scripture like two years after we were doing regular. So it's about half as many of those. But we have them separated like this for now. But this gives us room to grow. So we have room for more stamps. We, we're going to be decorating. There's a lot of white in here. We don't know what all's going up there yet, but something will. These tables don't stay. They're just here so that um, Taylor and Jenna could lay out how the stamps needed to lay up on the wall. So they would lay them on the table and then hang them up. So those are coming out. Um, you can hardly see it, but that red shelf in the back, it came two years after regular. Isn't that crazy, Tamitha? We, we did scripture club, or scripture stamps two years after I started doing stamps. We didn't even wow. do them in the beginning. Isn't that crazy? So this shelf is Brenda's, and she let me borrow it. But isn't it great right there? <laughs> I hope she keeps letting me borrow it. It's great right there. And then we're not sure how this is going to go, but Taylor started doing the tools today. When I say I don't know, I'm not sure about this column situation. We're not sure about it. We don't love how it looks, so we'll figure it out. I do love this, though. This is Shannon. Shannon came up. We have this pole, right, in the middle of the floor that we can't do anything about or we have no ceiling. And Shannon's like, let's put one of the grid walls around it and make it a column. And that's perfect, right? Oh, so smart. Um, this table is obviously staying. This is one of my favorite tables, the red and white. And you guys love it when you come see it. What else? The front desk, you guys, our landlord gave us this. It was here when we moved in. And we were like, what you going to do with that? No, we were like, what you going to do with that? He said, throw it away. I said, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll take it. So our front desk is literally a freebie, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, y'all, Shannon is so good. I get to use her interior design degree. They're like, great idea, Shannon. I use it all the time. Then, I guess this is me and Thomas's idea here, right? Can we take credit for the, yeah. for the thingy? Yeah. Okay, so we wanted a I grid wall. You <laughs> we wanted a grid wall behind the desk, but I didn't want to screw it in because we change our mind so much about things. I wanted to be able to take it down. So what we did was Thomas went up above the wall up here. And when you push, because this is a retail building where these walls are pretty much like fake. I mean, they're just walls between retail installations. He pushed the ceiling tile up and he hooked over and he went and got some chain. He picked up that chain. He had to spray paint it. He had to spray paint all that actually. He picked up the chain and then he has chained our backdrop. The reason we're doing that is because we can pin stuff to that wall now. So we can put like t-shirts or whatever, like we can put anything up there. And so we got that done and we love how that, he did that today. And it, I just love how it turned out. Yeah. See how we can do that. Or we can use, we have used clothespins in the past too, to make it flat. This wall, show him what we're going to do with, oh, did he hang it? He did. So he's mounted this one to the wall and this is going to be where we keep our shopping bags and stuff. So we can just reach over here and grab bags. They're still in there in the other room. So that's where shopping bags will go. This candle smells fantastic. Y'all, this candle is probably like four years old, but I love it. Sparkling pear. They don't even make this anymore. It smells so good. So we got a little candle burning. All right, so we'll talk about the greenery in a minute. Wilhelmina found her home. <laughs> Y'all, how much? I got to back up. How much do you love Wilhelmina in the window? How much do you love her there? Now, she's a little hard to see from outside. I want to tell you guys this in case you're coming to visit. We have full sun all day long in our windows, like all day long. And this used to be black tint. If you guys remember, it was just black. And so that was great for our product and stuff because product. So we had the tint removed and then we had another tint put up. So the tint that's on it now keeps it cooler in the window. And you can tell a huge difference. Like when he had it down versus putting it back up, you could tell a difference. So it does have a tint on it, which makes it a little hard to see outside. 
not not us see out. It makes it a little hard for you guys to see in the window at our display. So we're learning how to put the right stuff in the window for you to be able to see it. But we're working with a few things. I don't know if that's if that'll stay there or not. Um, so that's where Wilhelmina is living for now. She's actually perfect in the window. We think she looks great there. Um, Shannon and I are working on doing a flower, like a flower box, yeah. a window box kind of thing outside. To We need to dress up the front so you guys will know it's us. <laughs> we need to make it where you can tell. So we're working on that. And then we have a lounge area. Now this area, don't look past it yet. That section back there looks bad, but this is our little lounge area. And what we have here is we got a couple of chairs. So when you guys come in, if you need to sit down, if you bring somebody with you that doesn't care about crafting, they wanna sit, they can sit right here. This is going on the wall. This was actually a different canvas and we covered it in that wood card, uh, that wood paper, the wood um, contact paper. And then I just brought a wreath from home and we put a little buffalo check. So that'll be hanging. Y'all can call, look, I wasn't gonna do it. Vegeta said husband chairs. <laughs> And I know it's zebra and buffalo check, but it's my two favorite things. Y'all, this pillow, speaking of shopping local, this came from a store local called Moreland's Fine Jewelry. You can find them on Facebook. It's M-O-R-L-Y-N-S. Y'all need to go follow them. They do a Friday fun day live. They are so funny and they have the best time and they give you some of the best deals on that Friday fun day live. Can we, can we share their link? Moreland's Facebook uh, every Friday morning. So y'all will want to go. That's tomorrow morning, isn't it? Yes. So y'all need to go watch them tomorrow. When you do say May May sent you, cause it'll be cool. So that's called Moreland's Fine Jewelry. We'll share the link with you guys. Okay. And then I found this Buffalo check rug on Amazon. So we put that in and you got, that's already, we already had that done. That green piece. We just turned it around and then this chair was made for me by a subscriber. And so we put that up here. I thought it was super cute because kids can sit in it or we can just look at it. We have a little fridge for water. We have our coffee bar, Shannon's Yeti, <laughs> Shannon's cup, and my zebra lamps. And up here, we're putting a TV. The guy said they want to move the TV over here. Now, the mess you see over there is retail displays and stuff that have to make it over here. That samples that have to make, there's so much over there that has to make it over here. Um, did, were you able to get it linked? I did. Okay, check the link in the in the chat for that. But we have so much over there that has to make it over here still. You guys might remember this piece had green. I showed y'all this. Um, it had green where the black is, and we're painting the black because we like it better. And it does look better in the black and white. It just really does. So we're doing that. And what have I missed? Uh, Katie recognized that piece being green. It was green. It was green, and everybody, when I brought it over here, they were like, oh, you got to paint that black. And then I was like, but I think it'll work as green, but it didn't. We put it over here, and the black is better. And this side of Wilhelmina, y'all can see we're working. There's Rusty, our trusty Rusty mailbox. We call him Rusty. All right, what else? Y'all got any questions, or was that it? Uh, do you want to know is the label off the bin? The label off the bin. It's the label off the bin. I don't get that joke. I'm sure I should get it. I'm pro he's probably like, you totally should get this. Is the label off the bin? What am I missing? This area was our warehouse. This was our shipping and receiving. Have y'all seen the warehouse? It's incredible. Trash can. From the trash bin? I guess the oh, oh, yesterday. Okay, this. This, this, this. No, it is not. Shannon, we got to take that sticker off the bin. I promise we would. <laughs> You know, I didn't know because we call it a trash can. He calls it a bin. <laughs> a bin is what we put our stuff in over there, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Look, she fixed it. It's gone. <laughs> that's funny. If Gareth had said trash can, we'd have known. Slow, go slow. You got to peel it slow. Y'all are so funny. I would have never realized that from the bin. Okay, it's all gone. Wait, wait, wait. Now they're seeing the trash. It's just paper. <laughs> Shows we've been cleaning. There you go. There it is. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so that's the store. Yes, this was our warehouse side. Um, wash your hands, Shannon. <laughs> There's sanitizer over there, I think. Um, this was our warehouse side. 
and we have, we switched it over in December because we didn't really think we were going to be open in the retail store again. We thought we were just going to be doing the warehouse. So do y'all want to see the warehouse? Did anybody say I can't see the, the sanitized. <laughs> Thank you for caring. I get like three comments and they go so fast. I can't see the comments. Um, so tell me if they want to see it. On the trash can. The trash can's got a texture. Yeah. It's basket weave. Oh, so. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. You can't judge our mess. You're not allowed to judge the mess. This is going to be clean. My goal is to have this cleaned up by when, Shannon? Tomorrow afternoon? Sure. To have this area cleaned up? Sure. That looks great. I have not seen this until now. Look. That looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it will look better. <laughs> but it looks pretty good so far. Okay, so here's the warehouse side. So the foyer will be empty. I don't know what we're going to do with the foyer. We may make a lounge. We don't really know what we're going to do in the foyer. Here's the warehouse. Now, um, home decor side there. This product you're seeing here is product that's going to the retail store. What Taylor's been doing is pulling it from our inventory and putting it on the shelves here for her to take it from here and put it over there. So she's been getting ahead of the game. While we've been decorating and getting stuff ready for her to put stuff on, she's been pulling stuff and getting it ready to go over there. Are you going to hang that for me? Thank you. There's um, on the shelf in this closet, there's like five or, five or six different sizes of screws and nails and stuff. Yeah, I was just going to use this stapler. Did you see our staple gun? Okay. So warehouse again. Let's go back. So these are our aisles. We did this back in December. So these are our aisles here. We call these islands. <laughs> And we have paper, and we have, this is cardstock. We need to restock that. We keep the cardstock here, but we had it really, really tall. And so we just left this in boxes, so we need to restock that. And t-shirts and tools. This is tool wall. Tool wall down here. And then shipping is at the end. Thomas does shipping down there. Thomas and Jenna do shipping down here. I don't know if I'm going to lose signal or not. I may not over here. Shipping goes here. Um, have we named our cart? I don't think we've named the cart yet. <laughs> and more product. Here's the stamp. The stamp island. I guess we would call it the stamp island. Here. How do we decide to open the store again? Well, cases in Alabama have dropped tremendously. And more than that, we have friends who never closed their store. You know, we closed for a year. And we have friends that never closed down. And I'm like, I think we can do it. They did it. G says Cardalina. <gasps> Cardalina. That sounds like... I'm going to try to get y'all where I can look at y'all. Hold on. <laughs> so I can see what's going on. Yes, Fern will be coming back to the store. She will? She lives with me now. Well, you have fernlings. I do. It's crooked. I'll stand like this. Stand a little crooked. I'll stand like this. I'll stand like it's crooked. I'm too close. Let me back up. Y'all are seeing y'all are seeing too much in there. Y'all see too many wrinkles. Too much of that stuff. I'll stand back here. It'll be better. I can't see comments, so you'll have to tell me what's being said. Um, I can't handle it crooked. Paper. Somebody wants to live on Stamp Island. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? Um, G said, yay, my first vacation in ages, a trip around the Bama Island. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Dish funny. I'm sorry, y'all. You're fine, baby. Did somebody say that? Uh -huh. It's real crooked. I'm sorry. It's because I got it on, I got it stacked up on some Nina. <laughs> Nina's heavy on the shelf. Somebody said, no, you're pretty, lovely lady. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll stand it's okay. Like we will sit wonky. Do that. You y'all all wonk up your, your device that you're holding. It's not me. Yeah, I guess um we just had a lot of friends that never closed their store and like nobody in our town really closed down completely. Did anybody close completely? We did. We shut the doors. For us though, we hadn't even officially opened. Like, our retail store hadn't even opened yet. And so, we were like, let's, let's just shut it down. Plus, we lost so much staff over it because we um, furloughed 
three three members of staff and then two went three worked from home like we didn't have anybody to run the store anyway so um now that we have uh, amber's come back two days a week taylor's here jenna's here thomas is here vince is here that's another reason we're kind of like we just think we can i don't know we're gonna see how it goes that what was our decision was that just it because everybody's open just time we feel like it's just time um i don't know was that the last question so far looks good love your talk thank you y'all always love this top this is a Cato special. Well, I love it too. Again. The classroom will come in time. Um, we have plenty of space to social distance in there. Gracious plenty. We will just have a smaller class. I mean, we could have 10 students easy and easily be socially distanced. Um, I think the classroom will come in time. We've had a lot of people asking us if we would do some, some classes for their groups and organizations. Um, so... I think the classroom will come in time. I think it's all going to come back in time. Like crops, all of it's going to come back. Does that say that Sarah is a hairdresser and she her doors are closed? Um, I cannot wait to open my doors. That's just, I, I don't, under, I can't fathom. Well, let me say this. Our hairdresser's closed for a while. Yeah, uh, G said barber, retail, and barbers, et cetera, reopen Monday. Thank goodness. He needs a haircut. They have not. But see, it's a different world. Like, people say, how, like, our barbers and stuff have been open. I mean, you've had two haircuts, right? I've had one. And your child's had a haircut. Like, yeah. my in-laws have had haircuts. Like, they've been able to do that. But it's a different world. Because if yeah, you... I cut Noah's hair once or twice and... And then went back to her. But yeah. the, here's the difference Good. between the UK, Italy, things like that. Here's a the difference there. The population. Like, we did a little research on that. And I can, like, here's the best way I can describe it. I can walk out my front door and I can go for a walk. Like, I could walk a quarter of a mile down my street and back and not see a person. Like, literally not see a person. Um in the UK, like where Gareth is or where you guys live in those bigger cities, you can't even crack your windows and not see people. Like you can't even look out the window and not see people. We can distance so easy here. And um, it's just different. It's very, very hard. I can't imagine. I can't read those, but I see something big. Um, you could offer craft parties or some like at some point, kind of like how there are places where you go and take pictures. That's what we do. We, we've done that in the past. Like that... Our classroom, in the past, what you do is we have a kit, you pay to attend the class, you get the kit, you make the thing, you leave with the full thing. And that's what we typically do. We also teach cricket classes here and stuff like that. But all that ended a year ago. Like, we were doing all of that. We've always, um, we've had open houses, we've had all kinds of stuff like that, but it just ended, so things are just going to be coming back. Um, let's see, Deb Shaw said they are shut down for 28 days as of yesterday in Ontario, Canada. Really? See, I just, I don't know. I think everybody, I think everybody has to do it based on their area. You were talking about the Chosen one in the previous. Go watch Chosen, The Chosen. Go watch it. <laughs> You've got to go watch it. It's just so good. It's just so good. Like, I can't even describe it. Elsie said, everything will work out as needed. I it, know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You will search for me and you will find me. It, God will work it all out. He does. I think we did have to do, um, what is The Chosen? The Chosen is a uh, series of videos. I should say it's episodes, like shows, um, biblically based. And, it, and they started out with the life of Jesus as the, as the big focus. And it's on season two now. It's incredible. Um, you can watch it. They're, they have an app. It's called The Chosen. You can watch it on their app. It is fully crowdfunded, which means other people are paying for you to get it, so for you to get to see it. So if you can't afford to pay for it, don't worry about it. People, like I have, I will, I told my husband, I'm like, every season you will see me make a payment to this because it is so well done and worth everybody to see. Um, so, yes, there's an app. It is also on, how did I watch it before the app? 
did I Google it? I think just Google The Chosen, and it is The Chosen, and you'll find it. It's, it's so good. It is so good. I just can't say enough about it. And if you can afford to crowdfund it, crowdfund it. Because when I say crowdfund it, they give you this opportunity to be able to, to offer, to pay money toward it. It's very, very, very worth it. Yeah, Vera said it, or Vera Blue said it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube? I didn't even know that. I just have the app on my phone, and it's my, and I use it as my devotion time every morning. And I'm going to be so sad when this season's over because I love it. I watch it, and it just makes you like, ugh, I don't know. You, it's just incredible. You got to watch it. Got to watch it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen season one. You're probably watching. Um, I can't see what y'all are saying, but it's all just little tiny. <laughs> you can't read that. I can't read it. Can't. Will chickens be allowed to shop once uh, open? No. Shum? No. Nor will roosters. Sorry. Sorry, Jesus. <clears throat> Shannon tried. She tried. You want me to tell him? Yeah. So. I can't show y'all this. I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but the bathrooms in the back of the retail store, I don't have any signal back there. We'll have to record it. We'll have to record it and post it. But the bathrooms, we didn't want to paint. We, I promised Vince I would open the store and spend as little money as possible, which I've done pretty well. Yeah. We've done pretty good. So we wanted to decorate those bathrooms back there, and we couldn't decide what to do. And one of them is not red, but it's sort of red. It's kind of salmon. And we were like, if we added like black and white to this, it would look really good. So we went to Rustic and started looking for stuff to put in there. And every time I turned around, Shannon was like, here's a chicken. Here's a rooster. Here's a chicken. I'm like, we're not doing chickens and roosters in that bathroom. And I said, because someone will get it. Someone will get the cheek. You would get it. Someone will get the cheek. Yeah, Gareth would get it. And so we didn't do that. Instead, we're just doing, I don't know. What are we doing? Just black. Black and there's, we have a scripture picture. We've just done stuff like that to put back there. We it's wanted to do, hurting. we wanted to do. Alabama, like the state of Alabama things, not like Alabama football things, but like the state of Alabama things. And we still might. I think it's really cool. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I, I can't find one. I probably can make it myself. Um, where they take the county, like the, the, it's like a state map, but they zoom in. It's like it zoomed in on your county and it's like framed. I thought that'd be pretty in that bathroom. I don't know. And then the women's bathroom, our plan is to do, um, peaches because we're a peach county so we thought peaches and gardeny stuff like that so but you can't see it and we have a beautiful yeah. shelf back there she wasn't having it <laughs> i wouldn't have it i said shannon i'm not having it <laughs> it was funny nothing to tell me now i just stand here like there's something big what's that say we have an action barn here I had chicks and roosters on the restroom doors. What's an action barn? Action uh, barn? Maybe it's auction, auction. Auction barn. Chicks and roosters like who, boys and girls. Chicks and roosters. Cute, cute, cute. I ain't having it. Um, <laughs> the restaurant we go to when we go to Destin, their bathrooms have, um, I think, ladies and gents on them. But whatever the big word is, is not the word that's supposed to go in there and above it it says not for ladies <laughs> yeah it's completely messy. so you up. don't know which one to so go the in women will go in the men's on accident yeah it's hilarious i hate when i do that i have done it i hate it blake warned me before i went in Are we in a new place from before? We are not. Well, sort of, but no. <laughs> We've been here over a year now. We've been in this location. March was a year. And um, we just weren't able to open. We had, And you know what's so funny? We had worked so hard to open this store. And we had the retail completely set up. And actually, the warehouse is kind of, was kind of the last thing we did. And then we ended up having to switch them over and all that kind of stuff. But it's not really a new location. It kind of is. I guess it it will be for you guys. Because I think, what, two two visitors got to come yeah, before we closed like, down? We kind of got it set up and then shut the door. We had, like, two people and then the doors had to shut. So, I don't think we ever, like, we never even had, like, an opening day. We never even had, like, a, we never did a ribbon cutting. We never did anything. No. It was on the calendar, though. Yeah, we had it planned. It was on the calendar. It was. So it was um, going to be during the event. T-Man, come show them your cute curls. Nope. I'm oh, standing here by myself. Again? You'll come get in the camera. Opening date again? Uh, May 3rd. 10 a.m. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. 9, 9 to 6. Come show them your curls. They're so cute. His hair is so cute today. Have y'all seen that Thomas got his hair cut off? It's so cute. It was two weeks ago. You're going to cut so much ribbon. 
<laughs> yeah, we do a lot of ribbon cutting around here. It, your hair is so stinking cute today. It is. It reminds yeah, me of like something from the 50s. When you're good, you're good. Look. When you're good looking, you're good looking. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> He's so cocky. Come here. Look how cute he is. Now I'm not by myself. I don't like being by myself on camera. Look how cute you are. Look. Show him the back of your hair. Because it's gone. Oh, the back back? I said the back and you leaning forward. I mean, like, it gone. It's you gone. smell good, too. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> he must have showered. Tell now. him what you did. Tell him what you what did. did. About your um, tournament. Uh, I'm proud. Um, Played a local course. And I came in first in a local course in a tournament. But tell and them what then, tournament, what you play. I played disc golf. Um, kind of like Frisbee. But there's baskets out in the fields and in woods and stuff like that. Kind of like golf. Same concept as golf. Just with, but with a disc. But with a disc. It's not a Frisbee. It's kind of like a Frisbee. Um, it's made out of a little bit different plastic. Um, Did you try to teach me how to do it? A disc? Uh, you're helpless. <laughs> Did you try to teach me? Sure. You did in the backyard. Yep. But you were like, you're going to throw that over the fence. Yeah, that, <laughs> I had the wrong disc for you in the first place. But, yeah. And then I played a not-so-local um, course, and I came in third. Um, Which is out of how many? Uh, there were 35 in my group. But you came in first out of how many? Um, there were 30 in that group. I thought there were 60. Oh, that was when you came in. That was in, that was in Foley. Yeah, that was when I went to Foley. So he's playing a lot of tournaments. I, can you see that stuff? No. You notice the logo on your t-shirt? Well, I'll hit him with that. <laughs> What's the logo on your t-shirt? Oh, it's is it Prodigy. Disc? Yeah, it's a, a disc golf Prodigy disc. Yeah. Yep. What is your favorite disc? Um, either my Discraft Zone or... Nuke. No, not my Nuke. That one's, in, that one's a really new disc. I haven't had time to really break that one in. A lot of, a lot of disc or, golf fans on here. Well, there you go. Have you got or, the one you died? Have you got it with you? Yeah. He died one. Like, he took um, Rit Die. And did you put it on the record player? Mm, I don't have No, he did it He did it in shaving cream. Y'all know how you take shaving cream, put it in a thing, yeah. put the dye on it, and then put the thing on oh, it? I don't have it. He doesn't have it. It's in a bag. You want to show him your favorite disc? What's that bag? This is the bag that He'll bring you his favorite disc. Yes, opening day is on my man's birthday. We didn't plan it that way. I know it probably seems like we did, but we didn't. We um, just planned to open the first Monday of May, and turned out it was that. I don't even know. Nope. Chum, only 83 days till July. Christmas in July. Oh, my goodness. I kind of beat up. Show them. This one, these two are the zone. They're two different. One of them is a Paul McBeth zone, and the other one's a Brody Smith zone. Aren't they cool? He didn't, he didn't color these. He didn't no. have the one he colored. No. Those are the zones I was saying I really like. And then this is probably close to my favorite disc. These are Zeus's. Look how pretty they are. They're like, um. That one's Jenna's. See the colors? They're so pretty. You don't that have. That one's Jenna and then this one's You don't one. have personal information on it yet. That one I do. Look how pretty they are. Like all the colors. I just want to collect discs. <laughs> they might be able to see them. I'm just a collector. They probably couldn't. But I wouldn't cool. recognize it. They are cool. So he's playing disc golf, yeah. and he plays every. Well, you're playing. I play just about every day, but I don't but play every, in tournaments. But tournaments every day. are like every weekend through April, right? Yeah, I play every chance you get. Yeah, pretty much. I go this afternoon to play in league. So, yeah, he plays in a league every week. Yeah, I have two leagues every week. I play in a, a league north and a league here. So, there's old teammate. And for those who don't know, he's my son. We didn't even say that. Some people don't know. He is number three. We have Jared. Wait, we have Jared, Josh. Oh, I say you went the wrong way. <laughs> you went the wrong way. Josh? <laughs> but it's so funny. I don't know if we told them about this. Jared and Josh were at the house, and Josh picked up Addie, and he was walking around with her. And he goes over to my china cabinet to show her something up high that she can't reach. And he goes, look, I'll bring you up here so you can see up high. You never get to see up high. And my son, Jared, who's literally within, they're like within, within half an I'm inch of each other. Within probably a quarter of an inch. Right. Being he looks at Josh and goes, what? <laughs> like, I'm as tall as you. She's up high all the time. She's <laughs> so funny what's your best score today um probably i think it's 10 under i think i shot 10 under at our local course that's real good uh, 10 under it's about a 9 60 or 970 rated but i didn't play it in tournament i played it at a practice 
So if I posted it, people wouldn't believe it. Um, That's but, like Uncle Vince's hole in one. Right. He got a hole in one by himself. He was alone on the course. Got a hole yeah. in one. He's like, nobody will ever believe I did it, but I did it. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't believe it. I know no one will believe Thankfully, it. Thankfully, both my holes in one people were there. So it was certified. He, because you know, with your handicap and stuff, they certified it at the course when he got the That's hole cool. in one. So I mean, they said they acknowledged it, but he was like, "I was by myself shooting around, and nobody yeah. even no one was there with me." So I wasn't That's by myself. So you need to buy a three D printer. I saw that one, but one. I don't know how that would work out for me. People probably Kelly do said, it. Yes, I guess. He is your son. He is lovely like you are. Oh, he's lovely. You're I so lovely. lovely. Look. Aww. We do look alike, actually. Look. Look at our Christina eyes. Christina said, my hubby and you should play together when we take our vacay to come meet y'all. There you go. I'm on the disc golf course just about every afternoon, so. Him and his father-in-law. Yes. We stay on I've the disc I've never golf called course. Coach Thomas your father-in-law for that moment. It's odd, isn't it? It is that odd. That was so odd. It's, I've not done weird. that. It is weird. I have not said that. So, uh. Thomas married the coach's daughter. I did. So. I dated the coach's daughter to get playing time. <laughs> Y'all look alike. We do look alike. I mean, I know we look alike because we are yeah. blood. Now, he's my nephew, but I've had him since he's five. And we're blood related. And so, his dad is my brother. And so, Billy and I look alike. And Thomas and I look alike. Sorry. Now, he Joseph, he does have better hair. <laughs> Joseph uh, does not look like either of us. No. I mean, he, he looks. He's the redheaded stepchild. Sorry. He's the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like me, but not like not yeah. a lot. Not yeah, a lot. Like, they you were they favor yeah. enough to say that's yeah. my brother. I yeah. get it. But yeah. as far as looking like each other, Joe yeah, looks like don't. his mama. He looks like his daddy. Yeah. But when you're with your mama, you look like your mama. Yeah, I would say now when I'm with mom, I look like her. But when I'm away from her, I don't. And the funny thing is, when you're with your dad, you don't look like your dad. And that's yeah. probably just the sister in me. But, but pictures look like him. Pictures look like from him. From the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah most pictures definitely. look like him. But when y'all are together. Y'all yeah. don't look alike to me, which is funny. I think it's funny. It's funny. So there you go. That's what we're up to. We're getting that room ready. Thomas is fixing to hang my picture. Yep. How, how'd it go hanging that grid wall? It's pretty easy, huh? We figured that out. Yeah, the grid wall is pretty easy. Painting was the issue. Yeah, we Slowed had to wait down. for everything to dry. Slowed and then we down. had to paint something this morning we didn't think we had to paint. So. I was like, why don't we do that last night? Yeah. We ain't got no sense. All right, guys. Oh, and if you order something, like those of you who ordered all those punches, this is the dude that'll pack them up and ship them to you. Well, you and Jenna. Tomorrow Jenna's tomorrow here. Tomorrow Jenna's here, so, so me he, and Jenna will tomorrow. He has help tomorrow. Yeah. And Joe's coming back to work. Soon. Because Jenna's leaving us. Soon. Packing and shipping. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Packing yeah. and shipping. What else do you do? Someone asked. What, that's what I do? Moving heavy stuff. I want to say that's my job title, I guess, technically, is packing and shipping. But... Moving stuff, hanging see, stuff, since building yesterday, stuff. Since yesterday, yeah. he has, he's been my um, car mechanic. He had to take my car and get it fixed yeah, on the it. clock. Had to take my car and get it fixed. He had to go to Russell and get the chain. He had to go to Russell and get the paint. He had to go back to Russell and change the paint. Oh, my gosh. He had to go, uh, he had to get the spray paint. He had to do the spray painting. I had to paint. You had to move the bookshelf. I had to go get lunch yesterday. He had to go get lunch. He had to move that bookshelf. <laughs> when Josh got here, he and Josh had to go with me to a store and pick up a bookshelf we had yeah. purchased. Um, what else do you do around here? So pretty much when orders are called up, I'm building things, painting things. You, know. you do a lot of the building around here. Yeah. A lot of that. He does a little bit of everything. He, every, they, all my boys have their, We're have their, of all around here. we are. And all my boys have their thing. Like, and they know it. Like, Josh is tall. <laughs> so, <laughs> so however that comes in benefit. If Josh comes to the, okay. So at the house, what's Josh's, when he was younger, like when he was living at home, Josh knew he had to do oh, certain things. He had to things. put the snowman on top of the counters. Everything that, was, that, that went above thing. the cabinets, Josh had to yeah. do. Like if I decorated above the cabinets, and he got one, good at it. Ceiling no, no. But he would. We always did that with the vacuum cleaner. Like if he had to, um, if I had to have anything above the cabinets, he had to do that until he moved out, and then Thomas had to do it. But Thomas had to do it like with yeah, our I ladder or whatever. Yeah, I did it either on the counter or the ladder or whatever. And now Joe does it. Not because he's tall, but just because yeah, Joe does it. Joe's the only one there now. So. Grand's Grand said, Thomas, I ordered seven punches today. Oh, Hacking. goodness. <laughs> I hadn't gotten to today's orders yet. I got all of yesterday's out. I'm on today's orders. Just hadn't done them yet. They'll go first been, thing in the morning. I want to say they'll be first thing in the morning. Um, because I'm more. doing stuff. Conan, what's that? I don't get that. Is he like a jack yeah, of all trades? In the store. Oh, because he his hair. I love your hair like that. Mm. It you looks really. Uh, no, I won't keep it like normally. This, it's all back. Yeah. It normally doesn't have a part. Normally, it's all back. It I normally like has it like a this. part. I normally part it, but I put I put like pomade in it, and so it more is like up 
and all this not wave wavy. is just too much yeah I can't not the take wave. It. yeah not the wave. i love the wave it's normally all like flat up top or whatever i like the wave i don't like the wave but is that Married it life looks good on you thomas well thanks it really does. It's funny because, you know, a lot of a lot of people, when they get married, you know, the freshman 15, and when you get married, you usually get that. Thomas hasn't. It's been the opposite for him, but that's because he picked up disc golf. Yeah. Maybe I should start right. disc golf then. He never sits down. I was about to say, but when I tore my meniscus, I gained like 30 pounds, and I had to get rid of that, and that was in the process of getting married. In senior year, he tore his meniscus in December, January. No, no. It was no. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, it November. Was like, yeah, it was a week before Thanksgiving. And so then he had to have a, another surgery. This was your second surgery because yeah. we got through ACL, had to have a second surgery. He gained 30 pounds yeah, from November more, to the, February. Yeah, probably in three months or Cause so. Because you literally went from. I didn't change my diet or anything. But I, you I, went from active to I nothing. Say, I went to being active to where I couldn't do anything. So then that was. That was his senior year in February, and then when you came back to basketball, you weren't you weren't able to play like you did before, yeah. so you weren't able to put everything into it. You were, yeah. so you kept some of that weight until you started losing weight before the wedding. So you started in like September. Last year. Yeah, last year is when I started actually trying to lose weight. Yeah, so he, you're so. back to you're smaller than you were when you graduated, yeah. but you're not as small as you were like junior year. Yeah. So you're pretty close. Yeah. So yeah, he's so wedding marriage does look good on him because he's kind of. Kept it off, which is really good. Most people gain a little bit. Yeah. Or a lot of it. You're a good, good son. Well, thanks. My, what, what, they what they don't know. What they don't know. Won't hurt them. What they won't hurt them, you know. That's <laughs> Thomas is an excellent son. I'm very blessed. My boys are really, really good. Let's see. I, we need to get Joseph to tell him. We need to get Joseph to tell him about his April. license. Let's see. What's the question? How long is Four he months. Married? Four months. Four months. Four months. Old married man. Yeah. Maybe For so red. long. It fits him, though. Him and Jenna both. It yeah. just fits him. But this is the first time I've said your father-in-law, which is Yeah, that, I'd say that is odd. That but was for weird. us, like, we talk about it a good bit. Life hasn't changed a whole lot for us other than, like, we're priority for each other. Like, instead of you being my priority now, she's my priority. And, you know. Well, now my heart's person. broken. No, I'm kidding. Oh, you're fine. Okay. You already knew that. You're I'm excited. still your priority. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm still their priority. They know. And it's a different yeah, priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a different yeah. priority. Yeah. Like, they take care of mama. So they always do. Right, right. Um, the funny thing about your father-in-law is we always, we always call him, you know, Coach Thomas because there's Thomas and Coach Thomas because him and his father-in-law have the same first name. Yeah. And it's always, that's it's always really how we. It's funny on the disc golf course too because we bicker back and forth all the whole time. And Jenna says we're a married couple. Not well, I'm even sure. Kidding, because we literally I'm bicker sure. back and forth the entire time. But he's never been Thomas. He's always been Coach Thomas. So to say your father-in-law, yeah. and that was weird to say that. Yeah. So, all right. Our, Shannon left, so we must be done. Did you, did you sign us off? She just ended it and left. Yeah. Are we done? We're just standing there talking to nobody now. Are Can you read that? Camera. I can't. We can't see it. Neither one of us Conan, can see Conan, it. Conan is handsome. Thomas is better looking. I mean, I, I agree. That. Thomas is better looking than Conan. I needed that. You're they better need looking. They need to stop. The eyes. They need to stop. He does have killer eyes. They're gonna blow his head up. I know. That's why I said they it need to stop. It takes nothing to do that. I know. Cause I do it myself already. <laughs> Thomas is yeah, a sweetheart. They said, um, "Y'all, we're still here." I see that. I see them all saying we're still here. <laughs> all right. We got to go work. We hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. We cannot wait to start seeing you guys again. We're excited. I do have to tell you that we are asking that you wear masks in the store. I know our ordinance ends, but we're those people who wear masks. So when you come, we'll be in a mask. And yep. uh, now we don't mask together when we're together. But when we're with people, say, even today, like we had a lady come in today and we're like, we're in a mask. So... When people come, we have our mask handy. We put them on. So don't be offended if you come in and we're wearing masks because we will be. So um, until until we no longer need to wear a mask is the deal. All right, guys. We love y'all. If that's it, I looked at Shannon to see. We love y'all very much. Thanks, Thomas, for stepping in so I wasn't here by myself. Well, there you go. And, and we will see you guys next time. My finger's going to get in the way, but we love you guys. Bye now. <laughs>